Hello. Oh, there you go. How are you? Sorry, sorry I'm late. <laughs> That's all right. It's just uh, funny that you caught me midway. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't had that tonight. <laughs> Give me a minute to get over that. <laughs> I'll grab my wine instead. It's a little bit more acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. What's going on? You're doing good. Where are you? Manchester. You're in Manchester? Yeah. All right. Well, let me formally introduce our audience to Steve Hughes in Manchester. <laughs> Hi. Is this, is, is this going out on video or is it just audio? No, it'll be video. Oh, it's video as well so they can see me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, well, we better look black metal then. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this black metal with the glasses? Perfect, mate, perfect. Huh? I'm, so, I'm so metal that, you know, I've got, like, diamantes in my hair clip. <laughs> I haven't stopped listening to your fucking album since I got it. I absolutely love it. Oh, do you? I fucking love it. And I'll tell you which one I love the most, and I cannot stop listening to it. It's on repeat. I've probably heard about 30 times now. In Lies We Trust. Oh, really? Fuck me sideways. Like, I wasn't expecting that from you and this. Like, it just blew my mind. Um. Your vocals, bang, man. Like the talking, the, the, the eeriness of that, that, that sinister voice, but calming. So oh, Hubby and I... That's, that's, that's the next song we were, we were, we were, we we're planning on making a clip to. So. Oh, well, there you go. I'm going to do something then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, dude. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why. I'll, 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 let, you, I'll let you in on... on <clears throat> Corporate secrets with my big corporation. Well, I, I have to do it to that song because all the other songs, besides Inverted Reason, which goes for 12 minutes, so that, that would be a big job to make a video for that. Oh, yeah. the, other song, the other songs have got solos by real guitarists on them. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and the one that I've picked out is the one that's just like you. No solo. No solo. You. And also. And the first track I released, which I would, which is not, I didn't do it just because there's only these solos, that the first track I released works. I think it's a great song in that sense. It's quite, it's easy to like. And, uh, but I played the solo on that. So, because yep. it's got about six notes in it. So, <laughs> is that why? <laughs> but I like a solo like that. I don't need shredding all the time. And you know what? I actually made a comment about that. I went, it stopped before it became wank and I was like, yes. <laughs> that were my exact yeah. words when I heard it. I went, you fucking know how to get me. And you know, like I would have been lost if it was longer and the usual wank wank. But I tell you, 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 you gave it space to, to, to have its breath, to have its moment, to, you know, it had its peak. It didn't need to go longer. We didn't need a bit well, well, I, I just told the last guy I was talking to, you know, maybe I, that, that song is, was actually not the way it sounds or its content, but because it's so short, I, I, I always I liked uh, like early U2 albums, the first U2 albums, yep. uh, Boy in October. They always had, and they still did, even up to in Unforgettable Fire and stuff, probably even into Joshua Tree, they would have these small interlude songs, like musical yeah. sort of like Breather. tracks that just had, just had like a small piano piece with a simple drum beat, that, you know, it, would, it was very spacey and it would get for like two and a half minutes, three minutes, uh, yeah. it would just kind of 
transition you through to the next track and yeah. this kind of and I always like those yeah. ideas. There's one on there's one on there's one Pearl Jam do called Oceans, I think. Yeah. Which is on uh maybe the second album. That's another one. It's a great song. It's a fantastic song I too. And I, I I like those. I like those small wanted to I wanted to go can I create this simple one riff sort of the simplicity is so powerful like the execution well, well it's funny you say that because that's so one of the things I noticed it's funny you say that because that's one of the things I noticed back in the day when I was you know like 15 listening to those early U2 albums yep I realized I realized these are so because people just go, oh, the, the guitar, <coughs> excuse me, the edge can't play guitar and all this. I'm like, you're a, you're an, you're an idiot. I, uh, you okay, we can be we, or we we could be we could be we could be open minded, and I could be we could have a I could be more grown up and just go, oh, well, we have different tastes. But 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 if you're but if you're a guitarist that thinks the edge is a shit guitarist, no, you're a shit guitarist, right? Because because <laughs> even. Even as young guys, when they had those early albums, they're like eighteen when they made those records. Yeah, right. Right, and I and I even knew then they they understand space. They understand, and as a young guy back then, making bands, I realised most of the people I knew couldn't. Young guys couldn't play with a little bit of space in between. They couldn't play with space, and yeah. it's harder to play with space. Why? Because you have to know, yeah. you have to feel, you have to of feel course. the nothing, right? Right. Of course you do. And that's what builds up yeah. the next part, doesn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so together, yeah, just, yeah. It's, it's like in comedy really when you have that pause before, the pause before the punchline in comedy, the big, the big space exactly. between words. Gives you the what? Well, it gives you this. Gives you that, yeah, that. Yeah, the build up. Yeah, 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 it is exactly. So yeah. yeah, I just wanted to just like let you know straight up that was just like phenomenal. Oh, cool, thanks. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad it had the effect that you say yeah, it's that, kind of. That's the effect I got, and even like I was listening to it with Hubster the other night, and he was just like, "Wow, like that is one of the most." It's good. On, it's good on headphones too, awesome. with all that. With the, yeah. With that weird guitar that yes. <laughs> oh, and, and and just the different melodies and the deepness and just that ha the haunting beauty of it. Like, yeah, like it's just fucking beautiful. And you somehow managed in the is it seven songs? So uh, is it seven, six? You know what you know, I I, 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 I was talking to my friend the other day, the guy who did the clip with me, you read yeah. you edits with me. Uh, <laughs> I said to him, I was listening to the, some of the tracks. I was listening to that track as well, because we're making the clip for it, you know. Yeah, I said to you the other day. I said, you know what? I reckon there's an aspect to this album that women will get more than men, right? <laughs> and you know, that's true, <laughs> onto something because there's the other songs that have that beautiful, um, does have that black metal feel to it, like the music wise. Mm. Um, and then there's another song, and I've forgotten which song it is off the top of my head, but it's got that real kind of rocky metal vibe to it, almost Metallica-ish kind of bits in it that, you know, and your vocals reminds me of that. Like, so there's, there's a little bit in there, but, like, you've managed to, like, encompass so much of metal historically in these few songs. Oh, that's good because, because I didn't really, I don't ever approach it from a, like, like I'm writing metal because I just, because yeah. I was... Because I was because I was in Presto for five six years. I, you know, I know, but, yeah, indie rock. I know, I know, I know. You're not a like typical metalhead. Like we've had, like you know, we've had lengthy discussions about this, <laughs> but um, <laughs> we have lots of influences, and that's why it's so interesting, and that's why it, for me, it connects because I don't like the, I don't like to know what's coming next. If I know what's coming next, I'll turn it off. Yeah, yeah, right. So, but it's all, there's also an aspect. I was just telling my last guy that you know everyone always gets onto Metallica these days when you chat about metal. Oh yeah, well we talked about as it I, as power, I, so. Yeah. <laughs> and as I always say, there's a you know when I, when I used to sit there waiting seven years between the albums and then they're yeah, well it's all like back to the old days and I'd go well fingers yep. fucking crossed yeah and yep. then you get. I think, well, it is. And I used to think to myself, you know, where's that slab of fucking guitar? Right, right. Just 
Now I can't write riffs like James Hetfield. I'm not, yeah. I'm not a guitar, but, right? but, but, but come on, mate, we just want a heavy metal record, right? A yeah, big yeah, weighty yeah. one, right? <laughs> right. But on top of the music, I want to like touch on the fucking awesome messages, looking at things in a different perspective and not necessarily taking on board what, you know, mainstream is sort of throwing at us in, you know, current year. Um, I really connect, I really, really connect with that. So it's another aspect. So another question I want to ask you was, did you have that pull towards music again? Because music is somewhat less censored than comedy is in current year. Like, do you well, feel like I, you've had more, no. a little bit more freedom to be expressive with music than you have? I know what, I- it didn't really occur to me until, of course, this year. I mean, the album's been out, but I've had the album. I mean, some people have already had this album years ago because I released it under a different name years ago, but only a few people got it because I was about to release it. Then I went through my went through my five years of fun yeah. and uh, dark yeah. night of fun. And uh, yeah, know that well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So, uh, but I, but it's an interesting question and, and relevant one because I, I have thought about it now because, of yeah. course, with music, you can obviously throw things out there more obtusely, yes. you know, more, yes. you know, just, just, and there's, of course, there's certain things in that clip which are, there's some things hidden in that clip which I no one's picked up on yet, which I sometimes go to people, Do you, have you seen that bit? They're like, no. Nah. I'm like, no. sometimes we have a show and they go, where? I'm like, it's, it's hidden. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go back to it after this now. So, yeah, go back to what you were saying. Um, yeah, well, obviously now you can, yeah, you can say things. I mean, music like comedy, they, they, they can wrap truth up. You know, music can wrap it up in beats and melodies and comedy yeah. can wrap it up in, in humour, you know, so you, yeah. but you do know. You, do you think you've been more censored, though, in, in comedy with the way that you want to, like, spit out some of these messages that you have in this album? Has it been a little bit, like, easier to do that? Do you think it's more accessible? Oh, yeah, I think it is. Because also some of the stuff I've talked about on that album, I've never talked about in comedy because, there's, I mean, the, yeah. the amount of people, oh, you know, you talk about all this in comedy. Mate, I don't go anywhere near as deep about the stuff that I know about. Correct. Because Correct. how can I explain it to people who don't know fucking anything about it? It's like it's, it's like it's like I've I've done a f- I've, done, I've never done many jokes about heavy metal throughout comedy because one I'm not going to mock heavy metal to the normal people because they already yeah. think it's stupid. So I'm not going to. Whereas I don't. So I'm not going to. Yeah. Degrade it in front of them just to get some laughs. Yeah, of course. And as much as we metalheads could all. We could all have a laugh at Man of War. We all we all respect Man of War as well, yeah. anyway. Some of us like 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 you know. Well, I do, you know. And, well, you and when to. I was fifteen, <laughs> and when I was fifteen, and I saw him on the cover of their album in loincloths, I didn't think it was funny at all. I thought it was excellent. Right. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fantastic. You know. Really? Like, so I so and then again, you know, we I could get some good jokes out of heavy metal. It's hilarious. But trying to make do it to, but then I have to explain. But no one in the n- normal comedy audience knows what a man of war is. Yes, like, like exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I can't sort of the audience do it like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did we get onto this? See, I get so oh, lost. <laughs> We're talking about how, like, I asked you a question about how um, do you think that you have done sort of the circle back to music to be able to express <sighs> yourself a bit easier through music than comedy. That was yeah. like the, the initial. I thought about it. I never, that was not, that wasn't a motivation. I just kept doing music. Yeah. Okay. So. And you did. Because all those years, I didn't play, I didn't play drum for a few years when I first got to the UK because I was just comedy, 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 comedy. You know, I switched yep. realities. And I did it on purpose in the sense of I wasn't interested in getting a drum kit because I was just, how do I become good at comedy? Right. Yes. right just. Right. Yep. But then after a few years in England, I I lived with guys. So drumming, you can't always, even if you've got practice pads, you can't do it in a house where there's people because you're still making a fucking noise. So, yep. so I thought to myself, well, I'll just buy a guitar so I can fuck around in my room and try at last to try and play some 
Yeah. And I still can't play them very well, right? But but I could write songs. It's yeah. it and it's fucking awesome. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, uh, but then when I moved out by myself in Manchester, I, I got some practice pads. So I just kept drumming. And I was always yeah. drumming and playing guitars. And then I started writing songs when I sort of got better at guitar. And yeah. and then the young guy that's in the clip who edited the clip with me, he used to, I, used, I knew him when he was like 20. So he used to come and hang out with me and we'd jam. And then he'd come to the studio with me and we'd demo the songs. And yeah. So it was quite cool. And I got back here and then he made the clip with me. Right. Yeah. Because he's not on the album, but he wrote one of the solos. Like the, the solo in High and Fire, not the big shredding one at the end. He wrote yeah, the one yeah, that's the in the middle. Right? One, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Track, yeah. See, that's the first song I ever wrote, that one. That's, that's, oh, really? It's got two, got two chords in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't even know two chords. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> one's just open E, the other one's F. It's not even hard chords. It's not like. <laughs> one's E A G, eat a dick. Yeah. That's how I remember yeah. it. <laughs> I'm just glad I worked out how to use Zoom. But everyone was telling me. I was having a little spazzy the other day with Chris. And I'm going, oh, I don't fucking what these are ID numbers and everything. As soon as I put it in, it goes, sorry, wrong number. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> now, I'm actually, I did explain to him, perhaps it doesn't work because I don't know how to use it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that um, have, might have something to do with it. <laughs> Because I just go straight to the computers are ganging up against me. Right. Oh, they do. They do. They don't like they... me. They don't like me and they hear when I'm going to try and have a go. <laughs> and they go, here he comes. Here he comes. Watch this. He wrote this password in his book. He's going to put it in. Watch this. Sorry. <laughs> invalid password. Yeah, but it, it, can't it's use the, one, I, it's the one you wrote in your book. Oh, People okay. go, sorry, this doesn't connect to the browser. I go, I don't even know what a browser is. What are you talking about? Like, like, so, so, so the problem is, is they go, it's very simple. You just follow the instructions. Yeah, but I don't know how to follow the instructions because I don't know what the instructions mean. Right. <laughs> right, right. So, so when it says, do you want to do this zing zang bomb wallop allow or don't allow? I go, well, I don't know. Do I, I allow? Know. Or don't I allow? Just don't right, ask me. Right. <laughs> what happens if I allow? Will Israel be able to hear me? I don't know. Right, right. What if I don't allow? Will I get arrested? I don't know what's happening. Right? <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone knows what they're allowed to do these days, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I know you're allowed to do today, these days, is nothing. So. So tell me what you're doing in Manchester. What brought you there? Oh, I was going to do a tour, wasn't I, you know? And you got stuck there? Yeah, so I got out of Melbourne, but, you know, it's not yep. as if I've landed in Tahiti. No. <laughs> <laughs> anything, right. anything good going on in Manchester during I'm, the non I'm, so kind of pandemic? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on an island off the coast of Madagascar. Like, no, uh, yeah, no, unfortunately. Kind of cool, yeah, you know, just go fishing and hang out. <laughs> so, I'm oh, in a city with the mayor of Manchester selling fucking London. It's, well, I mean, don't get me started because we'll go into rants that go on for, you know. In terms of Australians, they're like kids. To, they're, they're like kids to me. They can't, they can't, they can't fathom uh, 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 corruption. No, that would be, that anyone would be lied to by a government. Like, it's like they can't fathom it. That, that, no that. one would that do. No one wouldn't do that. <laughs> Come on. And you better not. And you know what's so funny? Sometimes I sit and I get, and it's almost like Australians are so conditioned, the whole country so. Not to judge the people. Like, it's not a judgment like, oh, I'm going to, you know, or oh, I'm so smart and you all Australians are wrong. It's like, it's like, you know, I grew up in that place. I know what it's like. I know that the mentality, I knew it from the comedy. Why? Well, don't do any jokes that uh, about serious stuff and that because we don't, we don't know how to function there because yeah. everything's just, go, we get, don't go deep. Don't, it can't be dark because everything's just got to be surfboards and sunlight and just strawberry milk. That's and, right. and, and, and also, don't disrupt the class because you're the teacher. You'll get in trouble. Like, like it's like it's almost like they look at Australians when they do rise up and have something to say. Like, how dare you? Yeah. And then and then and then half the other Australians stand up behind them going, yeah. Yeah, I know. 
why don't you do what the teacher said? <laughs> it, um, uh, Is there an element of you that's happy you're not in fucking Melbourne right now? Even though you're yeah, sort of... Yeah, of course. Of but, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. also, I'm, I'm here, so, you know, depends what happens in Melbourne. So... Yeah. The, the eyes but, are opening, like you said, you know, we've got broken eyes in, you know, I think one of the lyrics that stood out to me was... We have broken eyes. We see what we want to see or what we want to see to feel good and not feel uncomfortable or think well, that... Well, well, see, it's very, it, yeah, of course, you know, who, who doesn't like that because we don't like to feel uncomfortable, do we? Of so course we don't. It's not, um, and, uh, not pleasant. It's not pleasant to question things that you've been told are true, but then... Not quite sure if they, in fact, are. I tell you what, what. What I find highly interesting is the fact that these people that get so upset. I mean, I, I mean, I shouldn't act surprised. I mean, I can one. I've known since I was at school that most people are mainstream. They just do. They just do it. I know it. That's why I was in extreme heavy metal, and they weren't. They were yeah. all just doing what they. And that's why Katy Perry videos have three point five billion views. Correct. Because half half the planet is retarded <laughs> so that's that's a judgment call there and it and that and you know my I, cackle i can't help it like i'm just gonna say see so you're a bad influence on me i'll start to I am. I, and i constantly <laughs> get into as much trouble as you do so <laughs> right, right. i kind of get it i mean you know probably not the same level no, but so, yeah, now, now, like, now, i get it now, of course some <laughs> Some of the people that watched this video might have watched it by mistake or actually got on there to go, this is so shit. I don't know, but there's probably only about seven of them, right? Now they could be going, Steve, how do you know these numbers? What were you doing lurking around there, right? <laughs> what monitoring have you got going on there, Steve, that you're keeping secret? Hey, you listened to your, your Katy Perry video clip for you, Steve. <laughs> off, for, off for a bit of Kesha, right, right. The uh, worst thing is, is there's a couple, there's a couple of Kesha songs because they're like cocaine for the years the way they're yeah written, right. You know, and there's, 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 right there's a there's a couple of actual little bits that I go oh fuck it's got me oh no <laughs> but but I know it's just cocaine I know it's I know it's just yeah uh, uh, I snorted a bit of Kesha ooh, so, ooh. hey if you were going to describe your album as a drug what is it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to say I'll Ken rephrase that. No, no. We're going to go with my song that I was talking about, In Lies We Trust. What's the drug for that one? Tell I me. I don't know. <laughs> Ketamine? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I've never tried that, so I can't really comment. But, um, oh. Yeah, I did once I by know. mistake. I reckon like some mushies would be good with that. <laughs> no, don't go, don't go opening portals and putting that on. I'm telling. Don't know where be you'll careful. end up. Don't know where you'll end up, eh? <laughs> I did, I did, I did ketamine once by mistake. Did you? <laughs> Tell me how it was by mistake. I guess there was this guy I knew, and he was a bit of the, he was the bit of the rogue son of this woman right. I knew. Right. She had a bunch of kids. The daughter was hot, gorgeous. The son, other son was cool. He did the lights for the comedy gig, and the other son was, you know, you get one that's rogue. Yeah, of course. Goes a bit mad. Yes. Right. right. Yes. He's the troublesome son. So, well, I was, <laughs> I was at the house. I was waiting for a taxi to go to some party, and he just racked up this line. He goes, "Do you want a line?" I went, "I'll go to a party." I like, yeah, right. <laughs> Right. Next minute, I start turning into a fucking hand glove. Oh, and I'm like, fuck. And I'm going, what's this? Oh, yeah, okay, man. What? Cheers, mate. <laughs> I remember getting in the taxi going, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, I'm getting more paranoid because the taxi driver's not saying anything. I think oh, I should probably speak and sort of, you know, make it a little less uncomfortable in here. So I went to talk to him and just went, <laughs> Steve Hughes language. Don't worry about uh, that, mate. No. I'll just I'll just shut up. Yeah. 
let's let's get to the party. I've got I've got I've got to turn inside out and walk into a stranger's backyard. So I'll prepare for that. So. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs>